We're going to check the condition of these two splits. Probably refresh the towels that were intended for uh, beetle control. The towels on top do have a few beetles. We're going to check the towels down inside here. Now, they haven't really built out a whole lot. So I'll probably be replacing, this time for real, probably be replacing some of the uh, frames. Yeah, they, they're still clustered up on a small amount of frames. So they must still be building. The towels in the bottom are not really chewed up too much there's still a lot of beetles see the towels in the bottom there they're not even roughed up I bought some new deep frames they're the all plastic they're the 4.9 millimeter they have the plastic tops so I'm gonna drop some of those in here instead of the wooden frames that they haven't really built on yet and some of those if you remember earlier on I did a split from a medium so there's a few medium frames in there that need swapped out They are collecting pollen and nectar. I'm gonna scoot these over so I can check some of these on the other end. Let me pull this one board out, this one frame out here just to see how we're doing. There's larva. There's definitely larva. They're building on the bottom of this frame here. This is one of the mediums that they're building on the bottom of. I would like to see the queen. I've never actually seen the queen in this hive. some funky brood funky comb on the bottom of that one there's larva down in some of these there's pollen lots of pollen and nectar you can see on their legs some of their legs there's all that orange pollen this has been a temperamental hive <clears throat> Right now they're being fairly gentle. I haven't even put that much smoke in there. just kind of looking around seeing if I can see that queen using some of that sunlight on the corner of this board to look down in there there's there's lots of larva it's very difficult for me to see eggs but I'm gonna guess that by the different stages of larva that I'm seeing that the queen's okay 
I haven't seen any queen cups. Well, I saw one queen cup, but no queen cells. We still have a beetle problem. Some of these bees are very, very small, so there must be some small comb in here. This is a pattern of brood here. It's pretty tight there in the middle. I do see some beetles crawling across it. I thought working on my knees would be better for my back, but it's actually really difficult to work on my knees. Now, see the beetles in the corner there? And this one on the end, this is another medium. I'm going to take it out. Shake these bees off. So I was able to get three of those mediums out. And I'll replace those with those plastic deeps. There's still a couple of mediums still in there, but over time I'll get them replaced. I'm going to go ahead and swap out some of those towels with a longer piece of towel. This one here on the corner that caught a few beetles, I'm going to go ahead and take it out. Kill beetle there. Actually, I guess everything on top I'll just replace. I just cut a nice long piece. I'm just going to cover one whole side. I'm going to do it on both sides. A little more surface area, maybe maybe that'll help get a few more beetles. I'll put that inner cover back on. The second split is doing a little better. It was last time, so I'm going to open it up and smoke it a little more than the first one, open it up, and see about swapping out some of those towels for the beetle traps. I was hoping that I had another screen bottom board that I could swap out this one because this is a solid bottom board and I think it builds up the beetles a little more because they can't fall through. I'm not blowing smoke directly into the hive, I'm letting it flow over the hive. Let's see if these towel traps did any any better on this one. I still see beetles. No beetles caught in that one. I got a couple couple in that one, one's still alive, I'll squish him. Got one beetle in this one. This hive is definitely, definitely doing a lot better. In fact, I think I might need to put another, well they still have one whole frame over here. But I think they're gonna get, they're getting close to where they need a super. I'm going to try to pull one frame out of one side here. Give us a little room to work. That's getting heavy with honey. That's a deep frame, that's good. That's all nectar and pollen. They're working. This is a very strong hive, lots of bees. So I'm gonna worry less about beetles. 
Look how they built that. That's all new. All that comb on the bottom, that's new. And it's mostly full of honey. There's no brood in this. This is all honey. So they're working well here. some brood in that one they're doing well I think I do I think I do need to go ahead and put a super on I don't have it with me some of the numbers you hear when when people talk about when to add a super is that when it's 70 to 80 percent full well I would say this one's beyond 80 percent full so I'm gonna go ahead and go get a super just so that we can keep plenty of room in here Packing it full. I'm trying to go slow so I don't risk squashing bees when I put that frame in there. <laughs> <laughs> 